obviously everybody has a, an opinion, but my opinion is that we have the best churros in the Midwest. You know, they're crunchy on the outside, soft and, and moist on the inside. I wanted people to be exposed to, to what a true churro is. We opened up Churro Parlor here in the city in 2021. We want you to feel like you're you're kind of like entering or you're going on, you know, a quick little getaway to a little churro spot. We have the original cinnamon and sugar, which is the Jane. Our most popular, which is the Aunt Rose, and it's topped with Mexican chocolate ganache that we make in-house and Oreo cookie crumble. What we call our Mao, which is named after my son, is uh, dulce leche and graham cracker crumbs. Prettiest one that we have is the berry white. So that's topped with triple berry cream cheese, uh, raspberry glaze, and fruity pebbles. In any business nowadays, you know, you, you, you want to make it pretty. You want to make it quote unquote Instagrammable. We're not only pretty, but we, we taste really good. My parents uh, opened up our Mexican restaurant, which is called Café Tabatillo in 1974. I started literally from the bottom, like fussing tables, washing dishes. It was more of a punishment, but at the same token, my mom was teaching me how to like, you know, the wax on, wax on type of thing. We opened up our second location in 2017 in Glenview. I contacted my, my sister-in-law that lives down in Guadalajara. I told her to get me in touch with her, you know, churro guy, because in Mexico, everybody has a churro guy. We talked a few different times, and I went down to Mexico, and I was basically his apprentice for a week. I came back, although I had the basics, I still had to, like, you know, alter the, uh, the recipes. I wanted to do something different. You know, our churros are topped. It also looks prettier as opposed to like, you know, dressing versus stuffing. They're not overly sweet. We actually use Mexican imported cane sugar. I think it's the perfect blend because we do add a hint of saltiness. So that, that brings out a, a balance with the sweetness. My son, he is literally 95% of the look and, and the layout. Just the overall feel of both churro parlors. I'm the concept guy, my son's the, the visual guy, but uh, that's all organized chaos. My, my wife is the one that keeps everything settled. She runs everything, the day-to-day -day, uh, business, and she deals with the quality control. I've got to give all the credit to, to my wife. My mom uh, always instilled in me, it's like, you know, it doesn't matter, you should never sacrifice, you know, quality, you should never cut corners for our churros. You know, can we have them pre-made and, and just having them sit under a heat lamp? Absolutely, but if you're not gonna get the same taste, having a business that's been around for, for quite some time now, it's it's, it's always been a, a, something that, that's made me and, and my family very proud that not only do we serve you know, great consistent, you know, Mexican food, but we back up our food with, with flavor and, and we do it, you know, very proudly.